This video is part of a series promoting the sustainable use of medical oxygen. Today we will show how liquid oxygen is produced. Liquid oxygen can be produced from atmospheric air, which is a mixture of gases. Nitrogen, oxygen, and argon are the main components of the mixture. We know that atmospheric air is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 0.93% argon, with the remainder consisting of other gases, such as carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. These gases have different vaporization or boiling temperatures. We know that nitrogen begins to boil when it reaches a temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius, that argon boils at minus 186 degrees Celsius, and finally, that oxygen boils at a temperature of minus 183 degrees Celsius. Now, imagine that you have successively compressed and cooled the air, so that you have a good amount of liquid air stored in a tank at a temperature of minus 200 degrees Celsius. When the liquid air mixture is heated and reaches a temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius, the nitrogen in it begins to boil and vaporize out of the mixture. As the temperature of the mixture continues to rise and reaches minus 186 degrees Celsius, the argon also begins to vaporize out of the mixture. The component of the air that has not yet vaporized is liquid oxygen, which can now be stored and transported to hospitals. As for the nitrogen and argon that have been vaporized, if slightly cooled they will return to their liquid state. Once liquefied, oxygen is stored in special tanks. These tanks are the subject of the next video in this series about medical oxygen. If you have questions, you can contact the PEHO Technical Group on oxygen at gto2 at peho.org. Thank you for watching this video through to the end.